I've studied history. I've studied these people. They will not stop killing each other until they've killed every single one of themselves. They are not going to stop. It is their nature. The journey is the destination. The destination that even their high-level Luciferian adepts have been given is not where you're going. And I know many of you say, I don't care. I am joined with it, and I love the power I get out of it. You don't get any power out of what you're doing. You are a reflection of darkness, a reflection of destruction. Only by turning yourself over to life and to creation and the creator of the creation, only by submitting yourself to that, only by asking God into your heart, the real God, not the one in these devil churches, the devil's greatest work, but the real God of the universe that you have a personal relationship and you don't need some high priest in front of you to bring you through that door. When you have that real relationship, ladies and gentlemen, the chains are broken and the universe will begin to open up to you if you can handle it. And there's a reason people drug themselves and get into evil because evil is a lot easier than being good because being good is far beyond what you've ever been told by the New World Order that it is. It is not some shrieking, violent, coward person who's stupid and naive. It is people on fire with liberty and power with God shining through us as in his own image, sub-creators. Now, most people turn to evil because you can't handle being really good. Because let me tell you a little secret, ladies and gentlemen. God has knowledge of all this evil. God allowed it to take place to, 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 to have us in the gladiatorial arena show who we really are for eternity so that the creator of the universe can decide if we go on to the next level and you know it's there, and the devil worshipers and the Luciferians know it's there, and that's why they want to try to imitate God, and that's why they want to try to act like God, and Google says their goal is to be the mind of God and to be able to make themselves gods and to know everything about everyone so they can cut us off and destroy us physically. This is a bunch of miscreants trying to play creator, setting themselves up just as the devil did. I mean, the, there's the whole evidence of God and the devil right there. Look at how they manifest all the attributes of Satan. Beelzebub, Shaitan, Leviathan, whatever name you want to give it, all right there. Even if you don't believe in unseen forces in this universe, as you look out your window at night and see the moon rising above the trees and distant nebulas and stars on a orbiting rock with a molten center around a huge star out on the edge of a galaxy staring into eternity, and, 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 and you'll let some, some programmed trendy tell you that because you have deep connection to the universe and that you feel the great eternity around you, that there is no God, that there is nothing unseen, that they know everything. They want to be your priest. They want to be your God. They want to be your ruler. They want to be your controller. They want to take your free will. They are the most blasphemous, disgusting, filthy, stinking, ugly, just microscopic little devils in comparison to the creator of the universe, and you worship them. You bow to them as they attack everything good, the family, as they attack the woman, as they attack the children, as they attack the father, as they pull down everything that's good because it is ugly in their eyes because it's not their creation. And then all of their creations are ugly and twisted and aren't even creations. They are nothing but abominations of what was already set in motion. The fruits of the new world order are hell and death and destruction. The fruits of the new world order is mass genocide, not just against individuals, but against cultures and ideas and everything that's good. I did not mean to get up here today and start preaching. It's just, it is unbelievable the potential humanity has. And I know that this is the great test we enter. But it is painful to see so many fall. It is painful to see so many who are spiritually blind. It is painful to see so many who have no idea whose hand they have placed their trust.